Mm. I think it's time for a change. That's a little better. I have a weird face. Thank you for joining our family. We're happy you're here. So, for anyone who is considering getting a cat, my opinion is, don't. This little beast, sorry, I don't know if that's coming in clear. There we go. This is Elijah. He's turning into my trouble child. The other one, which I actually thought had resting bee face, isn't that bad. But anyways, I just had to destroy, like the loveliness of my bookshelf up here because both of them discovered that they could get behind the books and like I didn't want to encourage that habit because you know then they could poop back there they could pee back there like my books are very really important to me um so what I did was I pushed all the books back so at least if they went up there um I could see what they were doing and I need to find a way to block off the top shelf. When I pushed the books on, um, at the top against the wall, I realized that I couldn't see them. Um, so that wasn't really going to be functional in case I wanted to see what was up there. So I need to just find a way to block off that top shelf. I'm really thinking, um, we have suitcases kind of stored right there by our door because, um, well, not my husband so much, but I travel a lot back and forth to see my family. Um, but they're using it as a step stool to get up there. That's what they use as a platform. So I'm thinking that we need to find something else to do with that so that they don't have as easy of, of a time getting up there because I really just want to have that be off limits. Um, that would be ideal. And actually, Cuddlebug, our gray one, this one's a little bit more braver, but Cuddlebug apparently isn't as brave as I thought she was because she got herself caught behind the books before I moved them back and could not get herself out. She couldn't figure out how to get back down and she looked petrified. Um, so I had to, ooh, sorry. So anyways, I had to save her and it was um, a little bit comical. I was like, serves you right, but I'm not evil or cruel. So I definitely um, saved her as quick as I could. Um, don't get cats. <laughs> So something interesting actually happened to me today. Um, I don't know if Hubbykins will be in this video or not. He is busy um, being the best husband ever outside. Um, he's taking care of a lot of things while I'm still recovering because, oh my gosh, I let that UTI go way too far. We'll never do that again. Um, and it's just, you know, taking... It's gonna take time to get out of my body. I let it get out of hand for a really long time and I definitely should not have done that. Would not advise any of you to do that. <sighs> so I'm struggling with cats, being a stress, and I am, you know, still trying to think about what to put in today's video. Um, so here's what I wanted to share with you guys. I actually, um, in our town we have a like a, on Facebook there's like this online yard sale like a slip swap kind of thing um and I just thought that it would be a good place to you know post a um post a discussion um you know kind of telling a little bit of Mark and I's story as far as the PCOS goes and to see um you know if anyone else in the area has a similar story to us um, you know, it's not something that I can just put out on my Facebook. I don't have a lot of Oregon people, um, on my Facebook friend list, so it wouldn't really get me very far as far as, um, you know, reaching out to the community and, um, you know, meeting some people locally. Um, so I just posted a thread, um, shared a little bit of Mark and I's story and, you know, just welcomed anyone to comment or like the status, you know, to friend me if, you know, they were going through, um, 
you know, anything similar. And it doesn't even have to be PCOS. There, unfortunately, there's a lot of different reasons why a woman might go through a period of infertility. Um, <clears throat> so I just really wanted to, you know, hopefully get, you know, some sort of camaraderie started. I truly believe that us women have to stick together and there is power in numbers. I definitely feel like you have a stronger hold on your emotions, um, your sanity and your happiness when you feel like there's a team behind you. Um, and my husband is amazing, but not being a woman himself and not being able to, <clears throat> you know, have that personal perspective uh, of going through it himself, um, there are going to be things that he just won't understand. Um, so I definitely think that, you know, having girlfriends, um, you know, a sympathetic ear that can, you know, um, share their story with you and you can, you know, lean on each other and cry with each other and be happy with each other, um, is so important, so imperative to a happy life. And my husband really supported me in wanting to like reach out and see, um, if I could meet anybody. And actually there was a lot of great response to the, to the thread and, you know, we started a private Facebook group and I'm hoping that maybe we can arrange to do some sort of meetup or support group, like not something weekly, probably we're all busy, I'm guessing. Um, but you know, maybe like once a month, just get something together. You know, I was just hoping to create a safe space for everyone to kind of, you know, share their highs and lows, share their happiness and sadness. And you know, it's a real shame that, you know, whether it be because it's rarer than I think or just because people don't talk about it, um, um, for being such a big deal, there's still not a lot lo a lot known about PCOS. And I feel like a lot of people don't vocalize it, um, whether it be, you know, from embarrassment or just insecurity. I don't know. I know that I had a lot of insecurities with it when I was, um, you know, first diagnosed in high school, you know, because of some of the things that come from it you know like the facial hair and you know the weight issues things like that like I was very insecure to talk about it so I can definitely understand where they're coming from um but I just thought that I would reach out and open the lines of communication and I was really happy with the response that it got and I'm hoping that it can turn into um something that will be awesome for everybody so I hope that you know the Lord planted that seed in my heart to make that message um for a reason and we'll see what happens Oh, so it's been a very, very long night. I'm not sure uh, how much uh, Shannon has actually. Um, my, my lack of beard is itching like crazy. Need some cream or something. Um, I don't know what, uh, how much Shannon has like uh, recorded or not. I'm just going to like try to check in on my own stuff. Um, it feels like we've honestly been running at like a marathon pace to try to achieve like 50 sayings at one time. Um... So at this point, I feel like we're just, uh, it feels like we're doing a lot, but because it's so many different things that are very rarely related, that we are not actually feeling like we're doing anything. Instead, we feel like we're accomplishing nothing, but then we're exhausted uh, from lack of sleep of just constantly going, 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 that, um, I mean, I honestly cannot remember last time I just like sat down with nothing to do except watch something with my wife or even just have a moment to stare at each other uh, we were literally trying to accomplish um, like trying to set our life trying to overcome a lot of our own physical health uh, deterrence um, whatever you want to call it um, it's not that I'm trying to pretty it up, it's that I'm too tired to even think. And just trying to think about all the stuff that we need to do. Like, I can try to tell you all the stuff we've done. But the reality is, is that, like, everything we've done still is not finished. And won't be even at the end of this month. So just listing it makes me want to cry. <laughs> um, I'm just so tired. And I know my wife is tired and... Um, she's still dealing with her uh, bladder infection, which has not completely gone away, um, among other things. So, thank you for everyone who has stuck through us with all the drama that's been going on of just life. Um, hopefully this makes sense and I'm not like overlapping my wife telling you the exact same thing. 
Um, I really need to try to reconnect with my wife, even though she, <coughs> excuse me, she's just in the next room. We're we're kind of on two different paths right now. I'm trying to go, I'm going to try to turn that around today, but like I got another. Uh, I haven't slept um, at all. Not even close. Um, I got morning work. The person that usually helps and all that is uh, down right now. We got um, new uh, therapists and things like that coming in, which is normal for like places like this. Um, so it's going to be a fun day. We got appointments left and right. We have seminars for my wife, um, advisors for her nursing. <sighs> and that's not all of it. Anyway, I guess this is kind of like training for the day we once we one day have a baby of just having no sleep and continuing going. I guess it's good I'm used to doing 48 hour shifts. It never gets easier. All right. Well, anyways, thank you for joining the family.